Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and today we're going to take a look at the Reaper Bones Fan Favorites expansion. I don't know, it just needs to be loud. So yeah, we got a big ol' Demogorgon guy. Collection of fantasy miniatures based on the most requested outrageous or inspired suggestions from our Bones 5 Kickstarter campaign. Like a scantily clad necromancer like the pizza animatronics that were on the kickstarter page like their wild folk furbolg things a pile of murder chickens a gargoyle rubbing his tummy halfling stealing eggs a necromantic thing I don't know all I've done so far, I just cut the plastic. I haven't even, I don't even know what I'm getting in here yet myself. Let's find out. Boy, that's what you get if you get a Reaper Bones 5 Fan Favorites expansion. Let's find out what all that is. Alright, what is this? What's this? Oh, I'm interested in this. It's like a thorn viney thing. That sounds like an official RPG name. Thorn viney thing. There's got like all kinds of skulls and stuff in here. Make an interesting shambling mound, I guess. What are you? You look like a crocodile dude. I don't know what material everything is anymore. We've got a club. And limbs that are going to need to be glued on. Which we will. So you'll just have to be patient for that. And another crocodile, man. There's a whole squad of them in here. One thing's for sure, they do feel bigger and bulkier than the hordes ones. If you're in need of gator dudes. I don't think they're as big as the GW Croxigors, but hey, you know what? This might be a nice economical alternative. Especially if you play older editions or old hammer in general. Two of these guys versus, you know, some of the high price. Well, I mean, if you want to go like high price, crazy giant Croxigors, you can. Lost Kingdom. All right, another... Oh, this guy's got some armor, actually. That's kind of cool. I'm wearing turtle shells. And you're going to have a mallet. Do not worry if you don't see everything on the screen. I will be gluing them, like I said. And we'll get everything all dealt with so you can see exactly what a pledge consists of. We'll let everybody have their moment in the spotlight again. Another... Crocodile dude. Not too bendy. That's always good to see. The rest of his parts here. His head is two separate pieces. Okay. Watch me confuse and mix everything up. That's fun to do. A genie. Or jitten. Actually, that's pretty nice texture details on there. Looks pretty good. The plastic that's being used on some of the bases and actually some of the weapons well, I guess it is a little bit firmer but it's still kind of bendy this does not feel bendy at all which way do you go on your base sometimes I wish Reaper would subscribe to a standard type of base I know it'll never happen Whee! Oh, I'm going to save Demogorgon for the last bit. Okay, let's see what's in this bag. Bags full of bags. I'm going to dump all this back into that box, and then it's going to take me, like, I don't know how many days to sort everything out and figure out what's what. It's going to be awesome. Okay, this is more humanoid-sized stuff. You're going to be a pain to get out of the bag. A little gargoyle. 
And it's nice to see that he's pretty sturdy. He's not bouncing around and bending over too far there. I'm trying to bend him over, but he seems like he's going to keep his form. That's good to see. They're wild folk. Wildlings, whatever you want to call them. Furbolg. Definitely feels a little larger than a typical reaper. Human. And he is. That's good to see. I know that furbolgs are supposed to be related to giants. That's my D&D fact of the day. At least they used to be. Okay, like, why am I trying to open these? Ooh, what are the axolotls? And my son's like, you're going to paint those, aren't you? Eventually. They're pretty nice. On the short side, but that's to be expected. Okay, this herbal type dude is totally stuck. Out, get out of the bag. What are you doing? He's tearing the bag. Whatever. Okay, you're free. Looks like it might be a female one. Thing. A male one. It's good to know. Ooh, this guy I like. I believe this is supposed to be a wild folk ranger. Looks apart. I thought I read something once that they're not supposed to use anything made out of metal. Any of you RPG type people know anything about that? Am I just imagining that? That's always stuck with me. They weren't supposed to use metal. I have no idea why that stuck with me. A Yule Brenner stand in, either pulling a dagger out of his shoulder or about to throw it. Or maybe it's Damodar from the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Oh man, I paid money to see that in the theater. I don't know what I was thinking. That was a bad movie. Not even like a good bad movie. Another of the axolotls. They're gonna be a challenge to paint with all the little clutter they got going on down there on their gear. Oh, human. Wish to pay me tribute. Nope, never mind. You are a cat. You are not a human. You know, it's funny when I see shiny models like this, I'm so used to seeing poorly clean stuff from my printer. I'm like, oh man, got resin all over them. No. This is probably going to be the first of the axolotls I end up painting. The fighter. They look cool. Well, at least this gargoyle is a bit more modest. Look at him entering the battlefield. Dressed for success. It's always good to see. Modesty on the tabletop, after all. Wouldn't want anybody. Drinking raccoon. That's my kind of mammal. I was about to throw this away. I thought that was an empty bag. What do we got here? An invisible thing. It looks like a kobold shape. It's kind of neat. I'd probably have to give it a ink wash or something because I'm afraid that I would totally misplace it. Another one. Oh my goodness. So, so far, we've got all that plus this pile of stuff. And now I have another bag of stuff you can't see because I haven't opened yet. P. 
pizza goblin. I mean, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. It was cute during the Kickstarter campaign, but I didn't really care. I guess they were just an extra bonus that's going to be included here. Although the little murder kobold robots might be fun to do something with. They tiny. So tiny. What is this? Oh, it's our runaway halfling. Stealing eggs with his giant Mac and me looking eyes. That's what I think of when I see that face. Mac and me. That's sad. Another invisible thing. That looks like either a cockatrice or a basilisk. I don't remember which one they were supposed to be. That is who are Mac and me Bilbo Baggins wannabes stealing stuff from. Another invisible kobold thing. Seem to be a lot of those these days. Actually, the fur bubble looks kind of cool with the wings. Got that gargoyle sitting behind him there. Another cockatrice, I'm assuming? The robot feels much softer and bendy than a lot of the other stuff here. That cockatrice should have a nest somewhere. I think that's what this is. Let's check. Oh, yep. Look, I've got a baby popping out. And treasure, and coins, and potions, and skulls. I always do with more scenery bits. Werewolf? Or a Rakasa. Look at his hands are backwards. I don't know why I remember that. Actually, it'd make a good wear monk if you didn't want to have him as a Rakasa, if I'm saying that right. Which is highly debatable. I'm just plodding along here. Ah, I like this guy. This is one of the reasons I wanted to get this kit. I really dug this portal anti paladin type guy. He looked neat. And he's on a standard sized base. That's a good 40 millimeter base there. Why well, he gets a special base. And nobody else. We will never know. Oh man, there's a whole other bag of humanoids? Jeez. Alright. <laughs> Just keep on going here. Oh, here's like the dude on the cover. The box. Or shady Nazgul Spectre Wraith thing. And another murder kobold bot. A bunch of bats. Actually, oh, no, never mind. There's a vampire lady hanging out with them. I was going to say, a bunch of bats would actually be kind of nice. I'm sure there's some in Bones already. In fact, I think I might have painted one at some point. Is this my murder chicken flock? It is. I have no idea how I'm going to paint that. An eruption of chickens. Is that something people were asking for? Okay. Another of these little dudes. How many of them are there now? Okay, this looks like stuff I'm going to lose really quickly, but I'm going to open it up anyway. We have an adventurous's body with a sword, and then a helmet head, and non-helmeted head. Is it a Sophie model, maybe? Could be. 
I don't remember. Buglips the Goblin. Previously seen on the Reaper forums. And another gargoyle. Okay. This one at least is dressed. To make sure. Don't want to get flagged as an adults only video. Our necromancer. Female necromancer. Or just evil looking mage lady. We're still pulling stuff out here. Some sort of tiefling, maybe? This looks pretty cool. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna bother. Another cockatrice. This is going on and on. Another little kobold robot. And yet another cockatrice. And I think that's all the little stuff. Which means I can. Mammoth Oh, come on, man. Now, interestingly enough, you hear that? You see that? That is solid. I think he was called the Mammoth Lord or something like that. It would suck as if none of the limbs wanted to go in the holes, which it looks like they don't want to. Dude. You got holes in your face. That is a Big blade. I don't know what ah, it's gonna go right here on him. And that is gonna have to get heated up again. And I wanna get this video done, so I'm just gonna have to do that later. That's gonna be pretty dang big. And then his tusks are gonna go boop in there. To give the full on mammoth look. I wanted to use this dude like a dragon ogre. That was my first thought. He's big. He's really big. But is he as big as the Demogorgon? Let's find out. Here's what our Demogorgon consists of a big, solid, I want to say it's about 100 millimeter plate. Big plastic body. Arms that I'm not sure which side they go on. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right either. I don't know what I'm doing. I know the tail goes here. There's a spot. I do like that sculpted base though. I really dig that. Okay, one head is two parts. That's pretty decent sized. It's not as big as some of the stuff you can print, but it definitely is bigger than some of the other Demogorgons I've come across in my time. I have no idea how this hand is supposed to go on it. It's like... <laughs> okay, you look goofy with your hand like that, my friend. Consider a better posing option. Whee! Alright, so... That is what you get. If you were to pick up... <laughs> a Reaper Votes fan favorite... Expansion. All this could be yours! And now I'm gonna have to put it all together and <laughs> take a photo of that. So, um, if you're interested in this, do take a look online. I'm sure there's going to be people selling theirs. I'm sure Reaper's gonna have them. And hopefully everything included here that I obviously don't know the names of at the moment are hopefully going to be available from them in the future. So do keep your eyes peeled if there's something in this set 
that is up your alley and will be around sooner or later. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.